Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, as we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather us into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way, and not according to the tradition they received from us. For you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model to you, so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign of every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps my word, the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, hypocrites. Yeah, you should reply. Good morning. Otherwise, you deepen your hypocrisy. You know, Jesus is not condemning the leaders of his time. He just feels sorry for them. I hope you understand it in that context. These are leaders, you know, of the you know, Jewish people. But then somehow Jesus saw in what they are doing a certain contradiction. The contradiction is what they say, listen here, Vina, what they say and what they do. That's a contradiction. 
And Jesus felt sorry about that. That is why, woe, I'm sorry. I feel sorrowful for you. And that hypocrisy happens to us. Isn't it? You come to Mass, you receive the Lord, and then when you go out there, when you see somebody who is homeless, you become judgmental right away. What do you have in mind? This person must be doing bad. Or I'm afraid to go near this person because this person might hurt me. You see what I'm saying? You come to Mass, you receive the Lord, which is supposed for you to bring mercy and love and care. And that is why we ourselves are practicing that hypocrisy. And that is why today the Lord is reminding us, just like He reminded the leaders of His time, be consistent. If you say you believe in this God that you worship, let that glory of God be shared to others too, especially those around us who are not as probably as well off as you. So it's not really that the Lord is condemning them, but rather as a good Jewish person, he felt, he felt sorry for them. And that is why he keeps reminding them that they should get out of that contradiction that they are showing to people. You know, sometimes it happens to us too, you know. We say one thing, but personally, deep inside, we do other things, contrary to what we are saying. You know, sometimes we do things which are really praiseworthy, religious, and pious. But deep inside, we don't want to do it. And so the big question is, why do you do it? Why do you do what you do? Because that is the most important question that you should be asking yourself and then answering it. Now, if you do it just for the sake of people seeing you and looking at you and appreciating you, but remember, God sees what is in your heart. And you cannot escape that. And that will not bring you any good. And that is why Jesus keeps saying, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You're pretending. You're just showing off. But what good is that? Will that bring you to heaven? Will that bring you to salvation? And so Jesus said, Thus you bear witness against yourselves. So, yet inside you, you are full of corruption. Like a tomb, appearing beautiful on the outside, praiseworthy outside, and yet inside, you are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you're filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. And so today, this morning, again, yesterday, we heard Jesus telling his listeners about this. He was teaching his disciples and us to be consistent, to be integrated. What we say, we do. What we say, we also have to keep in our hearts and it must come from all sincerity in our hearts. So, good morning, good morning. hypocrites. <laughs> well, the only way really we cannot be like them is to totally change what we are doing, okay? So do not be satisfied and feel contented just because you're going to Mass every day and receiving the Lord, but when you go out there, you're a different person. You fall into the trap of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is, somebody, is pretending, assuming a certain identity that you are not. 
you're showing it off to people, but deep inside your heart, you're a different person. And we don't want that. And that is why it's good that we know what the Lord is trying to say directly. He is very hard on the leaders of his time because he would like these leaders to be truly guides to the people of Israel. That they will lead them. They will lead them towards God for the love of God and love of neighbor. And again, that is always, you know, a big challenge because that's where the contradiction also comes in. People do this, but yet cannot do that. And that's where the hypocrisy comes in. You are a person, you think you are, but you are not. And so the number one enemy of the Pharisees and the scribes really is self-righteousness. When they become the measure for everybody to follow, except the measure is supposed to be the law of God. The law of love, the law of mercy, the law of love for God, and love of neighbor. And that is the connection. And that is the balance. There should be no contradiction in that equation. Amen? Amen. Please stand and let us now offer our prayers. For the body of Christ, that is the church, that it recognize the need for healing and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the unemployed, those who lost their job, those who are struggling financially, may they find consolation through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are sick and suffering, that they receive healing, hope, and tender love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who gather here might find strength and support in this caring and loving community of believers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray together with our patron, St. Catherine of Siena, for all our petitions, for the intentions of Faye Munster, for the souls of Jesus Navarro Paz and Mary Lee Fabi. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, receive our prayers, and this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, and grant that enlightened by the Holy Spirit, and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive the prayers and intentions for Faye Munster. Receive the prayers and intentions we offer for Maria Vargas, and the intentions of the Pasculado family for Reynaldo Parungao, for Marisa Cinco, Sister Sheila Fay, Sister Gilda Tamayo, Sister Aurora Soliano, Sister Estela Del Bando. Receive our prayers especially for Victor and Monica Enriquez, Maningning Miklat, and the prayers we offer for Larry Galindo, for Angelo and Gloria Musco. Remember also, Lord, we pray, especially those who are afraid, those who are uncertain, those who are anxious because of this COVID-19. May you sustain them with your presence of peace, consolation of your strength, and take away fear, in their hearts. Amen. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for Jesus Navarro Paz, Mary Lee Pavi, Eberardo Vargas, Jesus Guzman Jr., John Villario, Jose and Ana Sanchez, Concepcion Bates, Benito Cairo, Nicolas Pacquiao, Lucio and Estefania Pasculado, Maria Lourdes Tavares, Maria Cecilia David, and all who have died in your mercy. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Cordero de Dios, que quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender Virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. Oh, Thy scepter claim, all in heaven, Baba Dordi, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy.